Imagine each of you have been invited to create a TED Talk. A TED Talk requires you to do a formal talk and speak in front of 1,500 people. Kind of like giving an a introductory talk on something very important to you and it's going to be on the internet. It's going to be seen by everybody. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design, and their slogan is Talks That Count. How many people here are excited to do it? Let me see a show of hands. Wow, we're feeling great today. That's exactly what Susan Cain faced five years ago. Susan Cain should be a familiar name. She was actually in our Toastmasters magazine, a nice write-up about it. She published a book called Quiet. I finally got the book and I've been reading it. And I'm here to tell you, fellow introverts, this is a great book for everybody to read. It is a call for anybody who might consider themselves to be introverts, a little bit scared of giving public speech, speeches, a little bit scared of stepping out there, becoming a leader. This is a wonderful book calling out to all of us. Fellow introverts, our time has come. That's why you're here at Introverts Anonymous. Her message, Susan Cain's message, Susan is a self-proclaimed introvert. Her message to you today is to be true to yourself, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, whatever it is, be true to your inner self. Always take the courage to step out and try to do those things that are difficult for you regardless of what they might be. For her, as an introvert, and for myself, public speaking and stepping out in front of a crowd, like doing a TED Talk, are very big events. And she did a wonderful event. If you ever have a chance, look it up on the internet. Susan Cain, introvert, basically based on her book, Quiet, it's a wonderful talk. It's about 20 minutes in length. She did a fantastic job. Introverts can be successful. Introverts can be leaders. This is her message. Today our theme is Mahatma Gandhi. We had a brief interview of what he did in his life. But does everybody realize he was an introvert? Yes, he was very quiet. And he used that quietness as part of his leadership to, for India. And that's why he's called the father of India. Who's an introvert here? Who considers himself to be an introvert? Well, it's kind of complicated. It's not just yes or no. People are complicated. There are many different kinds of introverts and extroverts. It's a spectrum, so there's not just one type. Between, depending what study you are listening to, between one and three and one and two people can be introverts. My guess is somebody in your household's an introvert. Yes, look around. Yes, there are people here that are introverts. But there's no such thing as a pure introvert or pure extrovert. It's a spectrum. So who here wants to take a quiz to find out where they fall on this spectrum? Raise your hand. All right. We are going to take a quiz. Now, I have to give you the fine print at the bottom. This is not an official test. This is not ver verifiable. It's just a quick quiz. And let's have fun with it. All right. First quiz. This is true or false. I prefer one-on-one -on -one conversations to group activities. How many people like to have one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. 
they're a lot closer. You get more out of it, especially if there's sharing. Yeah, I do too. I particularly like that over a group activity where everybody is just playing shouting randomly. You connect better one on one. I tend to think before I speak. Let me see a show of hands. How many people do that? That's a problem for you? Yeah. We won't go there. I tend to think about what I want to say before I speak because it's important what I say. And I try to communicate with my audience very clearly. True or false? I often let calls go through to voicemail. Come on, I can't be the only one who does that. Yeah, there's a couple of hands. Yeah. Sometimes we just don't want to pick up the phone. Let the voicemail get it. And then we'll call back later when we got a free moment. Hey, everybody gets busy. All right, if I had to choose, I prefer a weekend with absolutely nothing to do to one with too many things scheduled. Come on, it's not that hard. How many people have a busy life? Right. That weekend with nothing to do sounds like paradise to me. Sure. But that's pulling back. That's part of being an introvert. Few more questions here. Are you keeping your tallies? Remember, true or false? We're keeping up. Count your trues. I concentrate easily. Yeah. We concentrate pretty easily. Yeah, that's, that's working. I don't enjoy multitasking. How many times you ask to do five different things at the same time? Yeah, I don't enjoy it either. Yeah, we can kind of relate to that. I do my best work on my own. Yeah, come on. You know, part of the book, they say you should actually, for introverts, you should actually give them five seconds to answer a question. <laughs> I can see that's coming out here, you know. People tell me I'm a good listener. Yeah, yeah. That's all part of the conversation. Yeah. And a few more. I prefer to express myself in writing. That's a, well, maybe it's not so much. Oh, okay. And lastly, I dislike conflict. Yeah. Okay, we've had some 10 questions. Count up how many of them were true for you. If it's more than half of the 10, you're probably on the introverted side of the spectrum. Anybody want to just raise your hand? How many people kind of had more than half? Yes. That's why you're here at Introverts Anonymous. <clears throat> Thank you for being here today. I am an introvert, a sensitive introvert. You actually get into different categories of introvert when you read this book. Toastmasters helped me build my public speaking skills and my confidence. Getting out in front of people. It is a skill. It is an exercise. You have to do it. And this is a great place to do it. As an introvert, I had to push myself or be pushed to work on these skills. And I want to thank my mentors. I want to thank people here in this club. I want to thank people who did push me because I wouldn't have done it had I not been pushed. And lastly, videotaping my speeches helps me work on these skills. I want to do a call out right now for our videographer, Don, for thank him for putting me in front of the camera. It's the only way I would have done it. I wouldn't have done it on myself. I'm an introvert. That's why we're here again. Remember, Introvert Anonymous. That's where it comes from, being pushed. Practice, practice, practice until all of a sudden it becomes first nature. Push yourself even further or find those teachers who are going to help you or even push you to do those things that are pushing you out of your comfort zone. Get out there. Get in front of people. 
Learn from your successes. Learn from your failures. It's all learning experience, and that's life. Conclusion, the big conclusion from this book, I highly recommend it. I would even recommend giving it out to people who are signing up or considering signing up for this club as a promo. Remain true to your inner self. Whether you are an introvert or extrovert, remain true. Introverts can be leaders. Mahatma Gandhi showed us that. Question this ideal, ideal of being an extrovert. No, you go. Keep to your inner self, whatever that is. And there is a big need for supportive environments like Toastmasters. Develop your skills here. Thank you.